Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do a targeted review on one of the particular feature that comes with the uh, 1.0.27 upgrade on the PicoPix Max. So if this is your first time watching this channel or watching this video, this channel is currently focusing on reviewing one particular product that is the PicoPix Max, and I will update a, a, you know, periodically when there is an update coming up from Philips. In addition to product review, I'm also focusing on producing some videos on how to use YouTube to uh, do teaching online and also how to uh, learn online from using YouTube. Okay, If you are interested in these topics, please subscribe to my channel. So on March 20th, okay, Philips rolled out a new update for PicoPix Max. It's the 1.0.27 versions. Uh, I, in in my opinion, there are just so many miscellaneous type of uh, uh, improvement in terms of font size and uh, Netflix crashes. Now, I personally don't have Netflix, so I cannot testify uh, how that worked or, or didn't work in the past. And in terms of font size, I personally don't see any difference or could not be noticing any difference. But but uh, out of all of the features they described in that in this particular update, one feature that caught my eye, which is let me look at my phone with the cheat sheet, is the third-party apps now have read and write permission to external media. All right. So as a someone that do teaching often, and now I need to do teaching at home now uh, because of the COVID nineteen school closure events, and this particular feature. Uh, really caught my eye and I want this video we're going to test how this uh, third-party app uh, work in terms of accessing uh, the external media and we are looking at two types of external media USB drive and as well as micro SD and without further talking let's go to the screen and take a look all right so the firmware start with 1.0.26 and then their updates about 780 megabyte like the last time. So I really skipped forward a lot of the um, installation time and download time. And this is again in five times speed. All right, you see the screen is a little bit weird here because uh, it's not uh, really strict. Uh, vertically, it's not straight. Okay, during this um, kernel installation, it looks like that. All right, so coming back to the screen, do an autofocus. So this is the first time I bring the PicoPix Max to my basement projector screen. So it looks a little bit different than my other uh, PicoPix Max review video here. All right, so when we when I think about third-party app that have read and write permissions to external media, the third first thing come into my mind is Microsoft PowerPoint because of what I do for my living. So I try to open a file that is stored on the internal drive and try to save as on the USB drive. Now it says USD card on the. Uh, Excel app, but actually it's the USB drive. Now it won't allow me to save. You can see the save button was graded. Now when I click to storage, actually that represents the internal storage. It will allow me to save. All right. So in this case, no, I tried again. It still won't let me do it. Okay. All right. So the SD card even asked me for permissions. I couldn't save it, but I only can save it on internal drive. So it asked me if I want to replace the original file on the uh, internal storage there. All right. So I, uh, you know, le left the app and go to um, now here is still local storage. So I want to switch to USB storage. All right, as indicated there. And I have another PowerPoint file that is different in looking. All right, that I try to open it, ask me for permissions, which I allow it now. So this file doesn't have the squiggly line there. Now it says read only. You can't save changes to this file on the left hand corner there. And um, so I can navigate it, but I couldn't save it in any way. So the second app 
that I want to test for read and write permission is Microsoft Word. So I go to the App Store and I download the Microsoft Word app directly from the built-in App Store. It takes out quite a while to download and install actually, uh, you know, partly due to my internet speed. And the initial setup actually took uh, way more time than I expected. Here I am uh, fast-forwarding a screen and also cutting out a lot of the um, detail during the installations. So after the installation, the app again asks you the permission to access uh, the devices such as the SD card on the um, plug into the machine. Now at this point in time, um, I have uh, both the micro SD card being plugged in and as well as the USB drive as shown in this screen. All right, so I want to open the uh, a file that is stored on the micro SD card. That is a Word document. Unfortunately, it won't, doesn't seem to be recognizing the app being installed. It's still asking me to open it with the PowerPoint app. All right, so I you know left this screen and I'm a little bit frustrated um, at this point. It doesn't seem to be working very well with third-party app regardless. And I go to go back to the Word app and try to open anything. Now, again, it's not recognizing both devices. The storage, they're referring to the internal storage. And you know, again, ask me permission, asking me permission every time I try to click on the SD card, at least for Microsoft app here. Again, it's not showing, you know, two at between the SD card and USB drive. It's just showing me, and I have no idea which uh, drive it is, you know, tapping into. Is it the SD card or the USB drive? It, I have no way to tell. It looks like uh, it was tapping into the... Um, you know, I have no idea. Honestly, it could be the SD, uh, you know, the USB drive. Anyway, I couldn't find my document. Uh, long story short, so uh, it is not working very well still. Uh, you know, in terms of with the third-party app, particularly with Microsoft Word. So here now, I start uh, unplugged my USB drive and just left my SD card in and see if there's any difference between accessing USB external media versus a micro SD external media. So again, I want to first test the um, PowerPoint. Now again, it showed read only on a file that is stored on the micro SD. So there's no difference there. And I try to save again when I try to click SD card. It even though allow you know prompt access I still won't be able to do it but on the other hand I can save from the SD card back into the internal um, memory there so I went back to test the Microsoft Word app again now this time it's on the micro SD card I want to see if there's any differences between accessing writing or reading uh, between USB drive and micro SD now it shouldn't but I want to be through uh, with the process so I, I was able to open the file that's stored on the micro SD but it shows read only you can't save changes to the file again so it really doesn't matter between the micro SD versus the uh, the USB drive I cannot do anything other than opening the file so I'm not sure what Philips tested uh, what kind of third-party apps Philips tested and showing now have read and write permission to external media uh, at least not for Microsoft Word and not for Microsoft PowerPoint as far as I can tell um, you know, so I, I am a little bit uh, frustrated with that statement that Philip uh, issued. So I, you know, I don't know what other app honestly can you know uh, do. People can think of to do read and write. You know, most are productivity apps. You know, you won't read and write videos, right? All right, we just look at you know how things didn't work in Microsoft. Uh, Office and Microsoft PowerPoint. You know, I don't know how, or I, I'm not sure what type of uh, third-party app Philips, Philips have tested. Uh, in terms of the two, one of the two common uh, productivity 
apps that I tested, uh, I could not have it work on, you know, I couldn't work on how to uh, write, you know, modify the file that is stored on both the USB drive and the SD uh, micro SD. So I'm wondering, you know, uh, you know, what is exactly the problem. Uh, I'll perhaps also uh, put up a uh, questions on the uh, forum uh, so that the Philips can, you know, perhaps give me some insight in terms of this. So this is the quick review uh, on this, uh, you know, this particular function that comes with 1.0.27 update. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to uh, follow up with more of the updates on PicoPix Max, you know, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next update.